Hey, welcome back to Fixing Things. On the Mihal truck, we're on the Mihal truck. Mihal truck's got some cancer. And just like a lot of times, you gotta dig in and get that cancer out. Well, on this episode of Fixing Things, bed corners. We have bed corners that need to be addressed. Oh. <laughs> and I got some, I got to fix the body work that we did last episode. I had a problem with the primer on top of the paint. The primer would have been okay on bare metal, but did not like being stuck to the, the Rust-Oleum. Probably if the Rust-Oleum was completely, uh, um, had a 72 hour cure rate, it probably would have bonded to it excellently. But since it didn't, and we still got some issues here and here. We got on this cab corner, it's solid up front, not like the other side, but it's got a nice big rust hole here we gotta attend to. Probably we'll put a piece of patch metal right there. Get that, address all the dents. Let's see if we can't get some more paint on this thing today. Let's fix this corner. It's rough. This bed is rough. This bed is really rough. All right, so the first thing I want to address on this thing is this floppy thing. Now, all throughout here and on the bottom, this thing is, this thing is pretty solid. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we're going to clean up the metal on this back side right here, put this back up in place, and tack it back into place. And we're going to cut this piece of metal out right through here and replace that and replace this patch right here and or wrap a piece here and do it and get that get that squared away i mean so i think we can save it i know most of you're all saying man you just should buy a whole new cab corner and i can't i can get for 60 bucks on ebay i can get both side cab corners cap both side bed corners but this is fixing things and I'm cheap and believe it or not I haven't got all too much money tied up into this truck I'll probably at the end of when we're done I'll probably uh, do an itemized list of everything that I've done to the truck and we'll see how much money we got into it but it's got to be ready it's got to look decent when I me and the wife go to Kentucky. All right, so let's clean this. Let's clean this up. Went to Harbor Freight and I, I got another grinder. I'm, I'm getting tired of the, my grinders breaking on me. So uh, the Ryobi grinder broke. The Black and Decker grinder broke. It's always those little stupid switches. So I, I like the switches that are on the handles. They're they're better. All right, let's get this thing going. Get stench cord out here. All right, let me get my lay it down device here. I'm not gonna break out my new Harbor Freight one yet. I put a fresh battery on the Milwaukee. I don't like this Milwaukee. It eats batteries up real fast. But let's see if we can't clean the metal up on this inner lip here. Don't wanna break it off.
duck is down in the in the pond. All right, we'll put a clamp on this, put a tack here. We'll drill a hole here, put a tack there. Tack it here. We'll be cutting all that out. Let's tack it. And we'll drill a hole here and tack that. Or we just drive around with the clamp on it. Alright, I'm not going to worry about this piece yet because we're going to make a new piece, but we are going to tack that one there. And I got to turn it on first. So now we'll drill a hole, which is it's pretty solid now. We're gonna fix it up a little better. Shoot, that's finished. That that lets the air out right there. These old trucks, they gotta breathe a little bit. They get going down the road, it's what fixes them, they gotta breathe. Next episode, we're gonna work on this bumper. All right, let's see what we can do with the rust patches. We'll get some metal ready. This is the piece of the fender that was here. So it's the same thickness of metal. And so I'm thinking is, cut this off right here. Cut that off right, right through there. I'll make this line all the way through here. Straighten out that edge and we'll bend this around. So let me cut that off, get that, straighten up this line. And then we'll put it up there, mark it, and cut it. Tack, start tacking it in place. All right, we're about ready to do some cutting. I went ahead and put my template up here. It's not my template, it's my piece. And 
<clears throat> we're going to cut this out a little bit smaller and put it slightly behind it <clears throat> and then we'll we'll weld it tack weld it and then we'll bondo it up ish so let's go ahead and cut this I'm going to cut But I don't want to spend that much time on it. All right, let's uh, clean up all this metal so we can do some welding. Get this thing fitted in there and get our tacks on it. Cut here, and solid there, come over, where's my sharpie, to that line. Solid there. And that splits in half right there. We'll just cut that joker out. It's double thickness. This is the corner. I'll go ahead and tack it here. I'll work my way down, then bend this in. This part here is good. This part here is good. Man, that's, that's a nice patch. That's nicer than if I would have did it.
some fiberglass on it now. Now we'll let that harden up, put a light sand on it, and I'll put some regular Bondo on it. And it turned out good. I, maybe that one can of rust only in my head was bad. It did have like a powdery paste. I shook it for a long time. Oh, but I mean, it looks good. So I got all the way up to here. I got still got to sand up in here a little bit, but uh, that looks that looks good. Oh yeah. Yeah, some of that metal was pretty thin. <laughs> I'm going to probably sandblast the back side of it, try out my new sandblaster, and spray paint it back there. And then, and then, um, probably put some uh, rubber paint over top of it. Rubber, rubber, rubber paint. All right, I think that looks good. Tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna tackle the other side and uh, and finish that. I did do some more sanding. I got this looking good now. I think it's ready. Probably before I go to bed, I'll hit that with a coat of white. But this video I think is ended. This video is ended because it's it looks great. I don't want to press my luck. Maybe I ain't got no luck. I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me? Dude, got some dirt on my face. Where'd that dirt come from? Hey, God bless each and every one of you. If you like me working on these things that I do and doing sketchy things and doing all this stuff, man, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. This this it was a rusty old bed. Uh, and... I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna ever come around to being a really nice bed, but it's gonna look good. This was an old U-Haul truck. It's my old U-Haul truck, and it was, it had rust in it when I bought it. That looks good. I, I it's gonna look good. This truck's gonna look awesome. Wait till we get the bed liner stuff going on in there. We're getting close. We got all the wiring working. We got everything working. Uh, 
I need to go down to the DMV and get this thing registered so I can go up there and get it inspected so I can take it to Kentucky. Oh, yeah. God bless you. I'll see you. Yeah, it's going to be tomorrow on the next Fixing Things. Look at the Mihaw truck. Man, the Mihaw truck is coming around. Oh, man, that looks good. Oh, 